Not many other people would come to places like this and travel the way we do. The places we go aren't always safe, most of the time not comfortable. Um, it's one of the reasons that we travel together is because we can't really find anyone else who will travel like this to places like this. 40 plus degrees Celsius every day, 90% humidity. I'm covered in a full body heat rash. Oh, look at my nose. That's frostbite. Look at that. These helmets are as thick as eggshells. Death trap, baby. In any other developed country, they wouldn't be allowed on the road. They would not pass inspection. My brothers and I, we do pretty crazy stuff, and it's part of the road. It's part of these adventures, is uh, doing things that are a bit risky. Right behind us here, it looks like there's a washout road, so this fellow's putting his donkeys down through the side, and then we're going to have to follow and just try and scramble our way up the mountain. That's dangerous. That is tough. I'm almost thinking this is a real stupid, stupid idea. It's literally a blizzard. You can't see far. Uh, and now it's to a point of, it's being, it's intimidating. It's quite scary. Look what we found. Yeah. Sahara, Sahara is surprise. like, it has the, the, the Vibe, scorpion. Leo, scorpion to Sahara. So don't tell me this. Soon yeah. I go to bed. I had no idea what was going on. I know I'm very little French, no Arabic. The communication's so difficult and it's so draining. Tres, tres frères. Oh, okay, okay. There's a million cabs here and we're struggling to get one to where we want to go. Nobody wants to make us the damn nut. Same problem. Your mic's not working? No, not really. Just stop. It's like the gas line. It's not getting petrol. Ooh, that's nice. This is not good, because now we're starting to get way out off the beaten path, so... Ooh, there's the eyeball. No, that's a, that's a socket. And then I found out from the cook, he said, eat everything but the ear and the eyeball. That explains why the eyeball was so disgusting. Everything else was good, but I'd stay away from the eyeball. Ugh. Jelly deals. You don't know what to expect when you're traveling. You never know. Every day you wake up and it's a blank sheet. It's got to be one of the coolest things I've ever done on all my travels. We are building an igloo way out in the middle of the Arctic with Tiki the Elder, who was born in an igloo 70 years ago. He thinks they're pretty friendly and they're having fun, so it's fun to be around. But don't tell them we said that. <laughs> it's nice. In some other countries you kind of feel threatened when there's big mobs around you like that, but here, they're just curious. There's great interaction with the people. Uh, they're always smiling. They're always welcoming you to their country. They're always giving you hugs. This is what travel is all about for me. Meeting people, learning about cultures, it's great. I mean, these, these people are so friendly and so kind. It's so nice to have the opportunity to travel and meet people like this and learn about new cultures. It's very humbling. <laughs> Yes, my country well, Bangladesh. Bangladesh is Bangladesh. Boys, let's go down there and introduce yourselves to the king. <laughs> what time is it? Six. <sighs> oh, God.